ousted White House aide Omarosa Manigault Newman has declared a black woman civil war on Robin Roberts, calling the Good Morning America co-host Petty for dissing her after an interview Thursday morning. Roberts fired the first shot when she snarked, Bye, Felicia, following the segment with The Apprentice star, a quote from the 1995 film Friday that has become a popular dismissive put-down. That was Petty, Manigault Newman responded to Inside Edition when asked about Roberts' remark. It's a black woman civil war. Manigault Newman had gone on GMA to give her side of her Tuesday night exit from the White House, rejecting reports that she had to be dragged out kicking and screaming after being fired by Chief of Staff John Kelly. She said she was the one who resigned, after seeing things in the administration that made her very uncomfortable. But Roberts wasn't buying it. She says she has a story to tell and I'm sure she will be selling that story. Yeah. Bye, Felicia, the host said. Soon to be former White House staffer Omar Asamana Janalt Newman says ABC News Robin Roberts has declared a black woman civil war on her. And, being a morosa, she did so via text message to Inside Edition. It all started when ABC News Good Morning America snagged the first interview with the Director of Communications for the Office of Public Liaison on Thursday morning. The White House announced Wednesday she will be leaving January 20, after re signing to pursue other opportunities. CNN contributor April Ryan had reported Wednesday afternoon that Omarosa, the former reigning villainess of the Apprentice franchise on which now POTUS Donald Trump starred, had not left under her own steam, literally. Ryan reported on the cable news network that security escorted Omarosa from the building after she tried to enter the White House residence without authorization, to appeal to Trump. This after being told by White House Chief of Staff John Kelly that her services no longer were required, Ryan reported. But Omarosa refuted that report to GMA's Michael Strahan on Wednesday, saying she and Kelly sat down in the Situation Room for a candid conversation in which she expressed her desire to stay with the White House until the one-year mark, in January, and then leave to get on with her life. She blasted Ryan's report she tried to access the White House residence, saying it would be ridiculous to try to do so in the most secure building in the world. When I have the chance to tell my story, Michael, it will be quite a story to tell. She told Strahan, as the only African-American woman in this White House, as a senior staff and assistant to the president, I have seen things that have made me uncomfortable, that have upset me, that have affected me deeply and emotionally, that has affected my community and my people. And when I can tell my story it is a profound story that I know the world will want to hear, Omarosa promised modestly. She said she has a story to tell, and I'm sure she will be selling that story. Roberts quipped to GMA colleague George Stephanopoulos. We'll see, Stephanopoulos responded, noncommittally. Yeah, she will, Roberts answered back. Then, looking into the camera, added, bye, Felicia, quoting Ice Cube popular line from the 1995 film Friday. Omarosa rose to the bait, texting inside edition that Roberts' petty crack launched a black woman civil war. This from the woman who declared, on PBS Frontline, Every detractor will have to bow down to President Trump. If it's war, Roberts has a lot of troops. Over at The View, for instance, Sonny Hostin called Omarosa a pariah in the community. She's always sort of been a villain, and I think her job as director of outreach in the African American community was almost a slap in the face to the African American community, she explained. Added Whoopi Goldberg, on Omarosa, she's just been so nasty to so many women, and so many women of color. So many women.